Hello Bakugan Brawlers and welcome to another Bakugan video. Today I'm going to be talking about and showing you guys the first ever Bakugan that I've gotten in my collection. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So firstly, the first ever ever Bakugan product I got was this Bakugan Battle Arena. It is a very common and the first ever type of uh, Bakugan Battle Arena released. It's this square one. So I got I got Bakugan back in 2009 when I visited uh, Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. This is from where I got the board. And the first ever Bakugan toys was uh, these six Bakugan over here. I got it from Medina. Uh, they came into a box similar as this. This is a Bakugan HSP from the Sega Toys version. But instead of it being English and Japanese, as everyone know, or English and Korean, I got this one in English and Arabic, as this was from the Middle East and North Africa edition. As you guys did not know about the backstory for how I knew Bakugan, during March of 2009, when I went to school in my second grade, my friend showed me this Aquasphere Ripper. I was shocked that such toy could just pop out when attached to a magnet. At first, I thought it was Transformers, but then my friend explained to me and introduced me to Bakugan. So this was the first ever Bakugan I've seen in my life. But the first ever toys was this. I got even back in March or April of 2009. So it's already have been more than 14 years ago. So it's really cool that I've gotten to Bakugan when the first type of Bakugan was shown. Uh, as the B1 as it was B1 and even the version 1 of the HSP Bakugan. So without further ado, I will start reviewing the Battle Arena, then I'll review each one of the Bakugan and the lastly I'll review the cards that comes with it. So first up, this is the first ever Bakugan product I got. It is the basic Battle Arena made out of plastic with some rubber borders. And this is a very common Battle Arena scene. Uh, it is a very classic one also uh, It usually does not come with these stickers, but I've customized it and uh, just put my own stickers back in 2011 I believe or 2010 this was when I just uh, put the stickers um, Makes it more personalized for myself, but in general it does not come with these uh, stickers attached on the battle arena. So first up, I'll be reviewing the Bakugan. The package that I got is basically Pyrus versus Aquas. And a funny thing is that this package was uh, was there was a small mistake in the package, as I was supposed to get one Aquas and one Pyrus Robotolian. For example, I got one Pyrus Reaper and Aquas Reaper. So it's a Aquas Fear Reaper and a Pyrus Fear Reaper. But instead of me getting one Aquas Robotolian and another Robotolian, I got two Pyrus Robotolian. But they both have different G power, as I'm gonna show you right now. So the first one is the two Pyrus Robotolian, as supposed to be one Aquas, one Pyrus. The, this one has 270 Gs, the G power is a bit scratched off, it's 270. While this one is 300 Gs. And all of the B1 that I got are closed core, not opened, open magnet. Which I believe is better for the longevity so that the magnet wouldn't get uh, diminished or uh, damaged over time. Next up, I have here two of the Reapers, one Pyrus and Aquas. This is such a cool Bakugan design, especially back in the uh, Battle Brawlers era. So the Pyrus Reaper has 290 Gs, while the Aquas Reaper has 320 Gs. Just a very cool design in my opinion. And here are the two Fear Reapers, one Aquas and Pyrus. The Aquas has 300 Gs and the Pyrus has 330 Gs. So at the time, this Pyrus Fear Ripper was my main Bakugan partner and it was my strongest Bakugan I've ever had at that time. Right now, if you guys know, my favorite and my strongest Bakugan is Pyrus Longfly with 1150 Gs. Now on to the cards. Uh, at that time, there was no ability cards, it was only gate card and there was only 5 attributes available as Ventus was uh, not introduced in this package as this, um, this package was released before the Ventus attribute was created. So like I've mentioned earlier, this is the English and Arabic version. As you can see, there is uh, some Arabic written on it. As you can see, there is English and Arabic 
Arabic written in the attributes and the type of card so as the HSP bonus and each of these packaging comes with six normal cards six character cards and five command card with one special card so these are the normal card that I got with it they are very simple and with a blue background blue color background and with the HSP on the bottom now on to the character cards. It came with uh, two Fear Reaper, two Robotoyan, and two Reaper. And I believe the uh, Sega Toys version of the HSP card has one of the best designs, in my opinion. As you can see, the main character Bakugan in the background, which looks really, really cool. So these are Fear Reaper. The Japanese name is Shredder. And for Robotoyan was uh, Garrison. And for Reaper is Lucifer. Now on to the command card, so it came with 5 command card, so the command card uh, has a green background behind and it gives a special um, rule bonus on the top over here. So you guys might know how this card looks like, they are very very uh, recognizable, especially for the OG Bakugan fans like myself. And now with one of the special card, this is Intercept. You can see Reaper, Fear Reaper, and Dragnoid over here with their more robotic type of design and a very unique type of card in my opinion also. All right guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a little bit different type of video as I talk on how I got into Bakugan. So if you guys want to share, comment down below when was the first Bakugan that you've ever got and what was that first Bakugan also. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share for more awesome Bakugan content. See you in the next Bakugan video.